Hey guys, it's my turn today. Um, we haven't done anything on my channel for so long. Yeah, I thought I would first of all let you know. Yes, I'm still here. Yes, I'm still alive. And yes, we are still want to keep this channel going as well. And I don't always have a lot to say on my channel. And I've been working with Michelle and her so much that you guys have probably not seen anything really coming on here. So, um, Michelle's channel is going very well, and my channel has been pretty much in neutral because I've been working with Michelle and hers. So me and Michelle pull up each other's tarot cards, and one of the things I asked Michelle was, what can I expect for the next three months, emotionally? And the tarot card said, you need to focus on you a little bit. You need to focus on growing your channel, because it's, it's languishing, and, uh, as well as personal growth. 2024 is going to be a time when a lot of people are going to be asking questions about themselves. Like, for example, the first thing is that new energies are coming in. It's a new year. And I'm not going to guarantee I'm going to be doing tons of videos. But I'm going to try to sneak a few in now and then. Because my audience deserve it. To at least know what's going on. It's true me and Michelle did write our life charts for the next life. But there was something that we found in meditation that disturbed me greatly. And I'm not going to go into too much detail on that because that's next life, not this life. So I want to focus on this life. What I want to know is where is my channel going to go um, as far as content? I don't really know what the future is on this channel. But I can tell you that the new energies are coming in. And the new energies is, well, depending on who you ask, is a sense of excitement and growth. And for other people, it's going to be the Demosly sword that's going to basically be dreaded. Particularly the negative entities are going to be dreading 2024. The average human being is going to probably have mixed feelings about 2024. Because economically, 2024 is just going to be a real mess. And emotionally, it's going to be a roller coaster. Um, for some people, it's going to be energy that they're going to be embracing in a positive way. It's going to be a lot of growth. And for some people, 2024 is going to be as bad as getting a doc prognosis from a doctor of some incurable disease. The disease is caused by the fact that people who have embraced 3D energies are going to be finding out that 3D paradigm doesn't necessarily work anymore. You already see it. 3D paradigm is collapsing. The truth is you have two choices. You can hold on to it always, keep going, kicking and screaming, end up in the museum of history as an as a old relic of the past. Or we can embrace the new energies coming in to ascend to the next level. 
which is absolutely important to do that anyway. It's just like anything in life. You have to embrace changes. You don't embrace change. The only thing you're going to get out of it is frustration. So we're going to try to take more time to focus on my channel a bit. And of course, Michelle is going to still do the morning show. Uh, she couldn't get to it today because we did laundry. We got it done early, but Jerry said 3 o'clock. So she said, well, you got time to do something positive and to uh, enjoy yourself for a few hours. And that's what we're going to do. So I think that's a great idea. To embrace positive energy. And we should be doing that. Because it's going to make a difference. If you are still stuck in a 3D paradigm. Or living within fear. Or greed. Or corruption. And are fighting tooth and nail. To preserve that. As I said. You're going to end up in the museum of history. Because your mentality is limiting you from growth. There's new opportunities being presented to you from those people who have ascended and from the external ETs that are coming to Earth to bring positive growth. So it's your choice. Either embrace it or you're going to be left behind. Point blank fact. What's it going to be? Which is it going to be for you? Now, you notice we still got the Christmas tree up. Me and Michelle have no idea where we're going to put it. Because we got to still organize the, pan, um, the storage bin. And also... So what we're thinking is that maybe we'll keep the tree up year round. But like she said, is when people donate to her channel, she'll make a little construction paper thing for that month for each person that donates. Her name should remember like a little paper ornament and hang them on the tree. So that way. You can come back and see your little people who have donated the trees as members, super chats, super stickers on the side of the tree that faces the camera. And so that solves the fact that the tree now could be up year round because the tree you could see could be called the giving tree. The patrons who donated to the channel. I mean, it's not really in anybody's way, and it's kind of looks good there in the corner. So that's the reason why we want to do that. Um, so I guess that's about it to let you know that we're going to do that. We're trying to focus on some positive energies and bring some positive things to the table. So for everybody that's watched these channel over the years, kept saying, when is she going to post something? Here's your post. Do you know, you know that we are still going to focus on doing some content on this channel. And um, I will say there are things in my life, chart for the next life, that me and Michelle learned from meditation that we need on my life chart, I don't have any control myself. So I'm talking about mine. That I may have to amend. Um, because I think I took on something in my next life that from seeing it in meditation is going to cost a lot of pain. 
that I don't necessarily need to experience. Um, so for now, everybody, I just want to say thank you for watching this, and I'll see you all soon. I'll see you on Michelle's show, of course, at 3 o'clock, and, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to be out there doing new content, and uh, so if anybody has any questions, don't be afraid to comment to me. I will answer them as best I can, and if it's a lot of questions on a topic, I'll see if I can try to get to it and bring some um, answers to your questions. So for now, go out there, guys. Be excellent to one another. Do great things for each other. Show, show positive energies. The world sure needs them right now. There is snow coming, which is like a cleansing blanket. But I'll be honest, you need to be careful. Because in some areas, it might end up being ice. And sleep, not snow. So please be due diligent. And in some areas, today, Saturday, or of course, Connecticut, Sunday, Saturday night, Sunday morning, we want you safe. So you need to plan ahead. But for now, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.